Okay, I went to Barnes & Noble today. What did I discover? <laughs> well, you know, what I discovered was just total, ridiculous, out of control um, prices there. I can confirm now it's totally out of hand. <laughs> Definitely out of hand. All right, let's start with the, the movies, basically. Um, the books are... I'm not very good with knowing book prices. I have Audible. That's like $15 a month, so I don't use books anymore, which is pretty bad. I can read, but I prefer to listen to the books. Um, so I don't know anything about books. I'll tell you about the movie prices. Batman, the latest movie in 4K. That was the one... Um, that was a very dark movie and stuff like that. A lot of dark scenes and stuff. Um, they wanted... For, for the 4K, guess how much? Well, nowadays it goes to like 25 probably $25 in the stores or less. 50 bucks at Barnes & Noble. The Holocaust documentary by Ken Burns that I watched, guess how much that was? I think I bought that for $25 on Amazon on Blu-ray. $50 at Barnes & Noble. It's just so insane. It seems what Barnes & Noble does is, their practice is, Let's find every movie you have and let's double it in price. I don't know how they stay in business. Because they don't just do that with movies. They do that with everything. But every movie they have is outrageous. There was one deal I saw that I don't think you could be anywhere. The Patriot. A very old Blu-ray movie. It kind of looked like it's been sitting there for years. and they might have, It did say it was a discount, but it said it was 7 bucks for the Blu-ray. I think that's a pretty good deal. Um... I don't know if my Blu-ray included the DVD in that, but I have it on Blu-ray, VHS, and 4K, so whatever. Um, but that was a $7 movie. That was a good deal. But actually, it wasn't a good deal because the DVD was $7 and the Blu-ray was 7 bucks. What kind of deal is that? The DVD should have been like 3 bucks. But, you know, this is the problem, and I don't understand how they stay in business. Bonds and Noble's become just like every other store. Now they have all those pop toys and all that other stuff in it. Just today, I saw them, two of the Pan Am Pops. Now, um, what disturbed me the most was they were both damaged, and they still won't... There was two of the exact same ones, and they still wanted six bucks a piece for them, even after they were damaged. And then there's another pop next to it. A whole leg is missing off the bottom, and they, stu they still want you to pay them money for it. Like, are you going to buy... Why would you buy a damaged bobblehead, whatever you want to... Yeah, why would you want to buy a damaged pop? As long as the thing inside is okay, I understand that. It's just the box. But whatever. And now they're all, because of the pandemic and everything, even these Funko Pops, which were you could find for 10 bucks a piece at one time, some of the good ones, now they're all $12, $13 a piece. And Bonds & Noble's not going to help that since they charge more. I have to say they're about a dollar less than Newberry Comics when it comes to these certain things for Pops. But I can't guarantee it anything else. Then I looked at some of the magazines. There's this flimsy magazine. I think it was Steven Spielberg on a Time magazine or something. It was a double. It was a two. It was said a double feature, or whatever the hell it was. Very flimsy. It barely had any pages on it. Ten bucks. Um, it's ridiculous. And the Princess Diana thing and all that other stuff. It needs to end. I mean, how long are people gonna dwell on the royal family? There's like five or six different magazines for each one of them the princess diana there's like six magazines the queen there's a million of them it's when's it gonna end it and they charge a million bucks for it too is the royal family not rich enough they gotta receive something from all this it can't just be all new stuff and um what else can i say what else do they have i didn't really go through anything else oh the biggest ripoff of all and i think this is a shame that kids get screwed over like this Anyone that's a Harry Potter fan, I'm a mild... I gotta say I'm a mid-mild Harry Potter fan, whatever you want to call it. And what I love most about it is is that it's a creative book. You have room to like it and not like it. It's not something where you have to either hate it and... Well, you know what I mean. And um, I saw a graphic... Uh, no, not a graphic novel. What do they call it? Um, yeah, there's a graphic novel version of the book where there's pictures in it. But it's, it's the entire book, but with pictures. I guess that's a new thing they've been doing the last several years with Harry Potter books because they have nothing else to do. And um, I saw that the book was $50. I think it was the third. Was it The Prisoner of Azkaban? I don't remember which one it was. 50 bucks 
for a book that you already paid countless amounts of money. I'm never going to get another Harry Potter book again. Maybe a movie because I like movies. But um, for a book, that's a lot of money just for one lousy book. Um, I don't know how you can justify that after all these releases. You, I have the audio books and I have the 4Ks. I'll never need to buy anything Harry Potter for physical media again. I think it's a ripoff. Don't buy any uh, stuff from them. Um, there was another one that with the one that, that Blu-ray set I got from almost got at Walmart. I didn't get it. It was it was like twenty dollars more at Barnes and Noble. I don't understand any of this. And then they have the nerve. I I've been kind to buying some stuff from them at one time, but they. <sighs> what was I just gonna say? <laughs> now I'm, I'm getting myself so ticked off. Let's just say that um. I've been yeah I've been conned into buying stuff from them before, but I don't do it anymore, and I don't recommend that anyone buys anything from them. I think what they're doing is they really know how to screw people over, and why would they stop if they already know how to do it? I mean, does it make sense? Not to me. Um, it's really, it's not right. Um, they and they put things on sale. They have a sale section. That's what I was gonna say. 20-30% off on the it's a thing in the middle of the floor it's like a table and I'm saying to myself none of this stuff is even worth what it is at discount never mind at full price so I, I think they're really trying to screw people over and people that support them are no better um I bought a I, I, I'll say I'm guilty I got a couple of vinyls from them was it last year about a year ago and um I have to say that I couldn't find I, I I didn't see the vinyls anywhere else. I didn't want to wait for shipping. It was a it was a gift. So, but I, that those are circumstances you might consider going to Barnes and Noble, but not for movies and not for books. None of the stuff is a good deal. Everything's full retail. It's actually well above full retail price and sometimes double it. All right, bye bye.